Hi everybody, this is Bunny Cakes and Dumplings. Today, I'm just going to be showing you guys a really short update on my new t um, tools and supplies and how I organize them. So, yeah. Well, how I really organize them. So, there's another video. Um, if you want to check that out on all of the tools and supplies I use for my drawings. I might do some tutorials, so I don't know. So... Um, first, I'll start out with the new collection, I mean new addition to my collection, this sketchbook. So, this is a sketchbook I got um, from Barnes & Nobles. It's from Sterling, New York, and it says sketchbook along the side, and then I just decorated it, but I'll show you guys, you guys that later. Um, it's just like this vellum finish and it was ten ninety five or nine ninety five so around ten or eleven dollars and it's hardcover and I have a stamp you guys want to see that I got since I have a lot of books so I have this stamp that says this book belongs to my name now you know my name don't be stockerish but anyways so sorry for the background noise but I just got um, my favorite manga books are called Pretty Face, and um, these are the characters from Pretty Face, and I just made a collage of them. So I got the book from the library, and I just copied a couple of pages that I liked, and then I cut out certain parts that I liked, and then I made a collage, and I cut them out, and I taped them into this here on one side and then the other half just says um, sketchbook and then those are one of my drawings it's of this girl and her skin colors everything's done in Copics except for the outlining which is done in my Statler pens so there's just a bunch of pages I haven't used any yet because it's new of course and this has sorry it's being covered everything's covered but it has like roughly 118 pages I think well I don't know but it's pretty good quality paper it's a medium weight so it should be suitable for markers so yeah that's my new sketchbook if you want me to do a tutorial on the collage then I'll be happy to show you guys just comment below so yeah um also this is what you saw in the beginning. You were you were probably like, what the heck does that mean? Bear is looking so creepy. But anyways, this is what is um, a pencil box. And basically it has two sides that open. I really like it. And it's sparkly on the side, if you can see that. And it's split into two. So it's sort of transparent and tur turquoise-ish. And then it's like plushy up here. So yeah, so this is where I keep all my tools now, and I've sort of downsized, because before I had this huge, um, just cheap box of a bunch of stuff, and I didn't really like that, so. Um, this is magnetic, by the way, so it's like that. Oh, and it comes with some stickers, and also, um, this information stuff. I'm not Chinese or Japanese or whatever language that's in, so I can't really read that, but I just think it's cute to keep there. So the f this first part is where I keep all of my... Sorry. This is where I keep all of my pencils and just stationary stuff. So I have five pencils. These are the USA Gold Natural Number 2 pencils, and they're sharpened, but I sharpen them a little more because I like a finer tip. And they came in like a 10-pack. This is my mechanical pencil that I rarely use, but it has Alice in Wonderland on it, and I really like it. But I don't really use this one. It's 0 0.5, so it's sort of like a fine detail sort of thing, but it currently doesn't have any lead in it, so whatever. Um... It, this comes with this sharpener right here, and it's really cool because um, there's like this cute little space for it, if you can see the outline there. 
that's where the sharpener goes. So I'll show you what it's like. It just fits nightly, nicely in there. And it came with the set, as you can see, because they're all the same color. And um, I don't know what that says either, but here you can read it if you wish. If you can translate that, please someone comment below and tell me what it says because I have no idea. So go ahead and pause the video and, you know, translate it for me, please. So um, it just opens like this. And you might think, like, how are you going to fit a pencil and sharpen? But actually this leans back a little more. So you can actually sharpen it. And it, it's actually a pretty good blade to sharpen with. I mean, it gets them pretty sharp. Like, this is one that I sharpened, and it's not bad. That's a pretty good point for me. Um, so, yeah, I have that sharpener, and it just neatly fits in there with a pencil box. Then I have this high polymer eraser that I keep in here. I just squish it back there. And then I have this for more fine details, I guess. Like if they're smaller things, then I use this. But if they're bigger spaces, then I use my big eraser. So that's just one part. And then if you turn it around, this is my beloved section. And it's transparent, as you can see. So you can like see through the back and stuff, which I think is really cool. There, Those are the magnets right there, down here. Um, so this is my section where I keep all of my um, inking and coloring pens, I guess. But I also have um, super tips. These are my color, the colorful ones. And I just keep skin tones in here because they're Copics. Oh yes, I got Copics. So I know most people when they get Copics, they get, they get a bunch. And I didn't get the skin tones pack, but I just got some that I liked. Because I probably wouldn't use everything in the skin tone pack. So these are the colors I got. So I got skin white, which is E00. It's a pretty good base color. And sometimes I just use it alone. I got... R20, which is blush, and it's just a pretty nice little pinkish color for blush, which is what it says. Um, I have E11, which is, it's not focusing, barley beige. Um, this is sort of a little bit tan color. I just use it for light shadows, I guess, or a, a little bit of a tan person. It's close to baby skin pink. Um, this is E13, which is light suntan. I use this for darker shadows or really tan people. So yeah. Um, these are the Copic sketch markers, if you can't tell by their ovalness. And I just got four because I really like only these skin colors. But I really also like baby skin pink, so I might get that. So yeah. Also, I have a couple of other things. I have this Sharpie f um, permanent marker, which is the ultra-fine point. And I just use this for outlining. I don't like ballpoint pens anymore. So, yeah, I use ballpoint pens with comics, but I, use, I do manga mostly now. Manga, whatever you want to call it. So, this is just a pretty good marker for outlining. A lot of people use that other one. I forgot what it's called, but yeah. <laughs> then I have this Sharpie, and this Sharpie is mostly used for like making the drawing really bold, or just um, if I have like simple lines that I wanna outline and make really big or big shadows, I'll usually use a Sharpie or to fill in space. So this is the Sharpie Industrial. It's the super permanent ink, and basically a lot of people ask, the um, the industrial Sharpie is specially formulated ink for industrial, laboratory, and commercial use, and it remains permanent under most chemical washes and extreme heat and steam. So that's the Sharpie industrial, and it's just black, and I found it around my house. I had it before, but when I bought it, I thought it would be useful for drawing because, you know, it, it this just means it will not wash away. So, yeah. But I don't really wet my drawings or anything, but, you know, just in case. 
so I found it in my house and it has sort of a blunt tip. I mean, it's not the sharpest Sharpie anymore. But I guess that's a good thing because I use it for big spaces and bold outlines that are really thick. So it's okay if it's blunt tip. Um, so yeah, that was my pencil box. If you have any questions or comments, please comment below. And if you want me to do a tutorial on this sketchbook, I will definitely do it for you guys. So yeah. Okay, bye.